healing. Okay. Okay, let's go. We just need to remember to use our abilities. Already? Nearly done? Oh god, we're doing a lot of damage. Actual Jesus Christ, okay. And we have an extra life. And we have an extra life, okay. Okay, we just burned her down. Holy shit. Okay. Woo! Stop fixing shit. <laughs> okay, that was that was cool. So, hmm, it was, it's definitely fun. It's got, it's got that, it's got that, like, movement shooter. It's, it's got all the, it's got all the fundamentals of a movement shooter down, right? I, like I said, it's kind of like ultra kill, but less, like, weapon swappy sort of stuff, right? Um, I think, I think where it fails is, is kind of the build diversity, and to be fair, there are a lot of, a lot of, like, a lot of classes. There's six classes, right? But, like, it's... It's, it's, like, each class is very much, okay, this is the best way to sort of run this class, right? And if you're going outside of those categories, then what occurs is, like, you can succeed, but it, it needs you to be skilled to make up for it sort of thing, right? Um... Which isn't, I mean, it's not necessarily the fault of the devs. It, that's just a thing that will happen in games where, like, obviously there's a, there's going to be, regardless of by how much, right? There's going to be, there's going to always be something that has that little bit extra of an advantage and therefore is the best choice, theoretically, 100% of the time. Um, like, for example, the homing weapons and commando, right? You get commando with a homing weapon, like the weapons that home in, like pulsar rifle or torpedo rifle, right? Both are explosive, both both auto track, right? Commando thrives on getting kills, absurd amounts of kills really quickly um, to build up fury. 
and the homing weapons just make that incredibly easy because they take the aiming part out of it and you can just focus on running around, right? So like, that's, that's, that's event that's essentially what it boils down to, which is that like, okay, well, the devs can't account for everything, but it still felt like there should have been a bit, a bit more that they buff some aspects, reduce some aspects, like, for example, sniping sniping only has like one way it'll ever work and even then it's not the best in a lot of situations because like turrets will turrets will completely have like a lot of basic turrets have no weak points and therefore you can't get crits off of them right there's only one class which specializes in getting critical point like weak weak shot snipes recon Recon, despite being in the same category as Ranger, seems to be more about getting auto crits and doing a lot of damage with their dagger rather than doing any sort of precise aiming, right? Um, so sniping definitely could have been better. And then there's just some of the weird weapons. I mean, granted, the weird weapons are there just to like you could have fun with. They're literally, they're literally like the the broken sword of like this game where it's like, okay, listen, we know it's ridiculous, but. If you really, really wanted to challenge yourself, you could do a whole entire run based around it sort of thing, right? Um, like the splasher rifle. I have no idea how that's supposed to get any good, but yeah. Um, I suppose the shovel as well, although the shovel has some more sort of obvious sort of strengths. Yeah, so definitely, definitely the gameplay is fun. I feel like the building, the class building could have used a little bit more work, but eh, it's an indie game. You can't ask a lot. A lot for indie games. Ooh, ha! <laughs> so they give you ah, uh, they give you they give you an overall rank and stuff. Interesting. 